Flag goes up. Gates fly. Racing from that 1600 meter mark, and Gem King dwelt. Lost about four lengths coming out of the gates. Rock and Ringo land at running. Quasi for sure is pushing forward on the outside of that one to go and set the pace. They being followed by Zapatellas, who's also on the move to go and set up Handy. Then comes Silvano's timer, being followed by Almatano. Sits on the inside running rail, being passed by Wario's improving position to settle about six lengths off that need of the pace. A decent one. Next in running, we find Imel Yenzi Yokodaduma. Then comes Pakaya, easily ten lengths off that leader. Racing next, we got Han Solo. On the outside, we got Nexus. Then comes Cat Daddy, Future Prince. Two lengths away comes Hoodsprate, who's sitting towards the rear of the field. And that leaves Gem King sitting in the back seat. And he's going to corner a good 16 lengths off that leader as heads turn for home in the Gordon's Gin Jet Master Stakes with 600 meters left to go. And Kwasi for sure has cleared off in front, leads the way by four. Re rushing a rocking ring goes racing in second. Then comes Zapatella is racing in third. Silvano's timers coming through on the inside. Then comes Almud Tana. Warriors being followed by Emil Hienzi, Yoko de Duma. Han Solo, Gem King from the back starts to kick with just on 200 meters left to go. It's Kwasi for sure being held together in front. He's still got a two, three length advantage. Down the inside, we got Zapatellas out the pack. Almud Tana, Bakaya from the back is kicking on late, but Kwasi for sure is finding war. We're into the closing stages. Bakaya flies. Very close. Maybe Pakaya got there on the line from Kwasi Vajar. What a finish to the Jetmaster Stakes of 2023. Kwasi Vajar looked a winner. Every inch but on the line. The jockey holding him together. He had kicked away. He's got a good advantage here. About three, four lengths to spare. Now Pakaya starts to lift. He comes out the pack. And he starts to motor home into the closing stages. Kwasi for sure being shown the stick to keep his mind on matters at hands. But Pakaya comes flying and gets up on the line to win it. 1, 15, 14, 2. I'll make the result. Race 7. There's images from uh, the winner, that is Pakaya. He's got a, a massive syndicate that are all here on course today. They're going to really relish this victory. And well done to all concerned. Pakaya comes off his uh, gelding, a really cracking last run. And uh, beautifully timed run from JP Fundamover as well to get him home. So a fantastic victory there and uh, well done to all the connections. He was a horse that had uh, a really bright future. There you can see Quasi for sure in the front. He looks like it's a ho home and hose for him. But uh, JP Fundamover gets Bakai to really extend in the closing stages. And he goes on and he nabs him on the line. And uh, well done to all those connections there you can see. JP was having none of it. He wanted this horse to get his head down where it mattered, and he obliges. A great timed run, and uh, looking forward to the interviews. There's a lot of owners here on course that should really enjoy it. Winner of the Gordon's Gin Jet Master Stakes, a listed event uh, was over the mile, was won by number one, Pakaya, the son of Trippy. Well done to William, who looks after Pakaya. William, there you go, that's uh, from Hollywood Bets and Cape Racing, so well done to them. And also Justin Vermark handing over the Kaya Stable Star Groom. If you can just, William, you got to smile over there for your photo, and uh, it takes a lot of hard work to look after horses, it takes a team, so thank you very much to you, William. Next up, uh, JP's gonna come and uh, chat to me. Uh, uh, JP, we'll start off in the beginning, going down, he, he's a fasty, fasty horse. Yeah, um, I've never sat on him before, but um, Richard and, uh, and Grant spoke to me, he said, um, 
Once he's his own way and uh, there's a little bit of a handful and I just left him <laughs> pretty hard work out to get off and run, run him to the start. Um, but uh, like you saw, there's quality, just a um, bit of a boy here. In the race, were you battling for a passage through? Yeah, he's like he's, he's on worst enemy. I had a nice draw, had a lightweight, but he just never wanted to get going, never holding the bit. Obviously, the plans were to be like a length, two length off box seat, but uh, he was, was never traveling well enough to be there. And then um, in the straight, same, I just couldn't get him unwinding, couldn't get him to grab the bit. Then, like, the more I couldn't get a passage to go, the more he was loving it. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, I, unfortunately, I'm just, um, I'm not happy that I caught Solomon on the line. It's not nice to win races like this. Um, hopefully, he'll be okay. Um, yeah, obviously, well done to the whole team, Justin, his team, and everyone involved. Well, JP, you, you seem to carry it off for the big races, so well done. You've obviously got a bit of a gift. Good luck. Yeah, it's just, like, you know, uh, Vicky, he had 51 a source, and Justin said to my agent, please tell JP to make the weight. It's going to be worth it. So, yeah, not easy, but we, we got a job done. Well done. Thank you. There you go. That's uh, JP Funamav, a jockey aboard Bakaya. Next up uh, is uh, Justin Snaith, and uh, Justin's going to come across and, uh, and chat to me. Justin, good luck for the win. No, thanks very much. I think uh, every Cape trainer was on Quasi for sure is back. We've got to listen to Justin afterwards about the Natal trainers beating us. So it, uh, uh, it can come back and bite you. So. <laughs> as Bakaya did. Good luck. Yes, look, as we said, going into this race, he opened up 16 to 1 with 51 kilos on his back and he got a one draw and I phoned JP's agent and I said, uh, um, you know, just... Um, do the best you can to 51 because he's certainly at the weights. He's a big runner. A lot of the horses are having a, quite a long season and, uh, you know, they're a little bit tired after the Met. It's something, uh, quite a few horses, uh, it's just hard to bounce back sometimes. And uh, I was worried, I must be honest. Halfway up the straights, I thought we'd be in big trouble. And uh, next thing, he, he took off. And one thing about JP, you know, he's taking every opportunity in life with two hands. So he's going to ride you know, uh, 100 metres past the line uh, to ensure that he gets there. So well done to JP. It's a big one for the yard and all the partners, the Duke of Richmond uh, syndicate is something very important to us. And uh, it's just fantastic that uh, all, again, all the friends are all over here. And uh, we've had great time in the summer having lunches and dinners together. And uh, that's what Cape Town's about. Most beautiful city in the world. And uh, just uh, lovely to to share it with all them and to Drakenstein on breeding him. Uh, Lovely horse, right time, right moment. 16 to 1, I hope all the guys got on. Good luck, Justin, and thanks for the, the, the encouragement beforehand. It helps. No, great, thank you. You can please accept your trophy from Justin Vermark. Thank you very much. Them also just to mention Gordon's Gin for their sponsorship. And uh, we're going to have uh, someone from the Duke of Richmond Syndicate come and chat to us. Well, they can all come across. This is even better. Come on. This is the fun part. I know the lunches are great, but the, but the winning is even better. Well done. Thrilled to bits, absolutely delighted. The, as regards to the, the snakes, they're such a professional outfit and uh, gave you a bit of confidence going in? Yes, they were positive. And actually, I should have believed them. <laughs> <laughs> well, thankfully it worked out well. Thrilled to bits, delighted. And for me, coming over from the UK, can't get better than this. Fabulous. And uh, with regards to these, I'm here about these fabulous lunches through the Cape summer. Yes, they're very good. <laughs> very good indeed. And I've just come over from the UK as well, especially for today. So it's great that we can all be here and we've had such a success. Well, long may it continue. And uh, lastly, with, uh, with regards to this horse, he's a beautiful individual. He is absolutely beautiful. Beautifully looked after and wonderfully trained and ridden. And just so wonderful to all be together today to enjoy it. It's been fantastic. Well, hopefully you can all be together for a lot longer with a lot more success from Bakaya. Well done. And uh, thank you very much. Justin for Mark is going to hand over. Also having Gay or Rupert, uh, she's uh, documenting for them. This is a wonderful win for the Duke of Richmond Syndicate. Well done to them. Bakaya, the son of Trippy Drakenstein stud for the breeding. And it really is a fantastic thing. Syndicate Racing's fun. Thank you very much. That's uh, number one, Pakaya. Well done to all the connections I'll mention. He's the son of Trippy Drakenstein stud bred the Duke of Richmond stud for owning and JP van der Merwe getting up in the nick of time to win the, Gordon Gin, the Gordon's Gin Jetmaster Stakes.